I've done a video on this before, on these uh, the jig skins from uh, American Tackle. Uh, I put them on uh, a couple of crankbaits like this. Problem with these crankbaits is they're they're really low quality, and uh, most of the ones I got there, you know, a fish could break that easily, really. So, I mean, that one seems to be in good shape, but a lot of the ones I had were were cracked and broken. So I'm going to try something different, something I'm, I haven't seen anybody else do them. I've got these, one of these. I've already taken all the hooks and the hardware off of it. It's a jointed swim bait. Uh, I've got a perch pattern here. Uh, it's a little big for this particular lure, but I think it'll work fine. Uh, I think everything else might be a little too small, but... I imagine once I put it on here, it's going to stiffen up the lure and it's not going to be able to, to flex like that. So I'm thinking put it on there and maybe slice open the, the ribs here and it should be able to flex like normal. Uh, actually, you know what I do need to do is get it lined up right there and I'm going to cut it off over here at the tail. I'll cut it to the right length. I am unfortunately cutting off a lot of the design like the back fin. But I'm getting the important parts on there. I'm going to cut it off about right there. A little bit of room to, to breathe. Some extra length to it. And uh, I've got the holes for the eyes here. Okay. It's a little bit tough to get in there. And I'm going to cut out the shape of the tail and everything on it. Alright, i got the water in there. Let me zoom in, try to get the best shot of this as possible. And it's uh it's sinking on. Doesn't want to close quite right over the nose. But uh it did close over the uh fins. Oh yeah, it closed on. That that worked out pretty well actually. There you go. Uh didn't quite line up perfect right there, but that's pretty close. Everything's lined up right, right there. As you can see, it's pretty detailed. You can see the scales and everything in it. A little wonky on the eye there, but... See there. That looks pretty good. Just going to cut out the shape of the tail. The fins came out good. The uh, pretty Pretty centered. The eyelets came out right. Uh, dip it back in there for a second just to try to get that. There's a little bit of extra stuff on the nose here, but that that's alright. That's not going to affect it too much. And There we go. I'm going to get a uh, razor blade or something and just slice the ribs so it should be able to flex. You know what? I don't really need to cut that off too much. It's alright. Just trim that little bit. And uh, I'm going to leave it like that instead of... Because I think if I cut the shape of the tail, it might start coming apart. So I'm actually going to leave it alone for now. Anyway, what I am going to do now is I'm going to try to use this razor blade here. Cut in pretty nicely. Cut through that pretty good. There we go. Don't want to go in too far because I don't want to cut the the material that's holding it together. <laughs> Gotta be very careful not to hit that stuff in the center because that's gonna make the whole lure fall apart. Alright, there we go. And it's got its not quite the original flex back, but there we go. It is possible to do it onto a onto a jointed swim bait. Now, I can't stress enough when splitting it not to hit the stuff in the middle because that will completely ruin the lure. Especially because over here you get that hook. If you hook something in the back hook and you've got one of those sliced, it'll come right off and you'll lose the fish and only have half a lure. But uh, I don't think I hit any of it. It all looks pretty good in there.
And there we go. It is possible to use jig skins on a jointed swim bait. Now I gotta get out there and try it out, but that'll be a part two on this video.